So we're here with the Replicate guys, Elias. Um, you've brought something entirely new, or at least very much evolved. Uh, before we get into that, thank you to MetaHex and Ultimaker for sponsoring this trip and making it possible. But yeah, let's check it out. You've got it right there. There's a new board yeah. coming out. It's, um, this is the first time it's out in the wild. So it's been sort of uh, soft launch here on uh, Murph. Um, I've been doing Replicate for several years, years, and now this is the evolution of that. So this is called Revolve. For those of you who don't know what the um, Replicate is, can you just go through wh why this thing exists and what it used to be? Yeah, so uh, from the beginning. Um, so Replicate is a board that stacks on top of BeagleBone that makes it into a 3D printer controller board. Now we've taken that sort of sandwich and compacted it, so it's now a single board version. It's a pizza now. Yeah, it's a flat bread. Yeah. yeah. And that, that also decreases the price a little bit, so retail price is going to go down slightly. Awesome. OK, so we've got a uh, full processor in here. So this is a full processor that runs Linux. Um, yes. But it's also got like the entire RepRap control board on there. What what can you handle on this board? Like, what are the features that this board takes care of? Well, what's special about it, I'd say, is that it ri runs Octoprint. So that's like the main feature, uh, and it also slices directly on the board. So you can use either Cure Engine or a slicer. But as a just as a control board, it's also got really nice components. So I'm seeing six uh, Trinamic drivers, 2130s. You are. are you making use of the skip septic textures and the, the smart interfaces? Well, the software part hasn't been implemented yet, but uh, all the all all the necessary hardware is there, yeah. so I'm hoping to get some software people to look at that. Okay, so that's all hooked up. Yes. You've got a nice powerful output stage that's uh, four output channels. So it's uh, three extruders plus a heated bed, yeah. four thermistor or thermocouple inputs, and you can choose that. Um, end stops galore. Okay. Those so are Quality board, all integrated, and you, you mentioned the HDMI. Um, I did. You got HDMI, you got USB, and you've got something else that, that plugs in here. So I've, I've used the, the early versions of those screens. Really happy with them, but you're saying this one's even better. It is, uh, it is better, yes. The Manga Screen 2, there was a Kickstarter a while back um, in August. Still hasn't been delivered, but it's going to be delivered now. Any, yeah, I, any I, now. I, I know you're going to deliver it. I mean, <laughs> you've, you've managed to do that before. I've done a couple of Kickstarters before, yes. So the Manga Screen 2 is now, uh, it's a touch panel that works very well, well with the uh, Revolve. Yeah. And we've actually got it hooked up in this uh, in the Stelta right here, right? If you want to take a look at that. So this is the, I don't know if we can get this, but this is the user interface that um, runs on there. Um, where you can sort of, you can zoom in and out. Uh, you can change models, you can jog if you want to. Oh, so, 3D transitions, nice. Took a while to get that running, but. <laughs> cool, so th this is your, your all integrated platform. Um, this works with the Manga screen, but the Manga screen, I mean, you can use it with any setup, right? You can yeah, plug yeah. it into Raspberry Pi, yep. you can plug it into a Windows computer, use it as your only input, right? Yes. It's a, it's a, it's a cell phone screen with an HDMI and USB for power. Yeah, and it does multi-touch. It is multi-touch, yeah. So in what bracket do you see this entire hardware platform working out? Is this a, you know, Maker level board, or is it a high end industrial say, board? What, what, yeah. What's what's your goal with I'd that? I'd say it's a it's a high end um, um, uh, board. I mean, it's it's not the it's not the cheapest one, but it's. How, how much are you estimating for this one? So we're trying to get it down to one hundred and nine dollars. That is actually pretty impressive if you compare it against other thirty two bit boards or yes. premium repro boards, even. Yes, I know. Um, and that's including the drivers, including everything. Yeah, this whole board. Yes, this whole board. How is the, the firmware looking on here right now? Do you have like auto bed leveling and all those fancy features? Do you have those all integrated? Uh, Delta auto calibration? Yes, all of that. Okay. Delta, uh, Delta printers, of course, uh, Core XY, um, bed leveling, all of that. I mean, that's got to be standard now in modern day. Uh, firmware, right? So this has the 32-bit the cores, but it's also got the two units, uh, I think, that are the real-time cores. Um, where is the actual computation happening for something like Delta Kinematics? Is that on the Linux system? Is that pre-prepared? Yeah, so that happens in the path planner. So there's a, there's a Python part that is like high level. Um, and then there's like a small core, which is the path planner, which is C++. Yeah. And then once sort of the, the paths have been planned out, that is pushed onto the programmable real-time units, and they handle the actual 
uh, real-time aspect of this. So all they need to do is, is push out the step pulses and the, the complex part is handled by the Linux system. Exactly, exactly. Cool. Uh, when are you expecting to, to be able to ship this and sell it to like regular customers outside of Kickstarter? So uh, we haven't really decided uh, how we're going to launch this. It might be a Kickstarter, it might be something else. So you've, you've, not, you've not released launch this yet. This is a, a world's first. World's first premiere, guys. This is uh, an exclusive. This is <laughs> kind the first of. you're seeing this in the wild, yes. So it's pretty novel. Um, so we're hoping for a few more weeks of development. So we're, we're going to run uh, like a, a set of maybe 10 beta boards to push out to the lead developers and um, uh, potential customers. And then we'll get the feedback from them. And then we'll start production. Awesome. All right, thank you so much for your time. Sure. Appreciate it. And again, thank you to Matterhex and Ultimaker for making this trip possible. Stay tuned for more content from Murph 2018.